Hi guys, this is a quick update and mod talk about Fallout New Vegas. I have been messing around with EMP settings, NVIDIA settings, and just about every setting, trying to get the right look and feel for the game. Um, and I think I've finally settled on this. This is Tapioca's Enhanced Shaders. It is... I think this colour scheme is very nice indeed. It's got the god rays on the sun. I do, I love this. I love this effect. I just do. I think this effect is really nice. It gives the sun a very realistic feeling. So I've settled on that, but I've had to tweak a few settings. I had to use the NVIDIA control panel to get anti-aliasing because the ENV anti-aliasing is terrible in my opinion. But as you can see, the horrible flicker is no more. However, the way I had to do it was extremely performance intensive, but it's not a problem. I'm keeping 60 frames a second, no problem. Uh, I did, however, have to turn off ambient occlusion and dynamic shadows. And you may notice that because it doesn't quite look as nice as an ENV should. And the reason is I turned those two things off. I had to turn them off because they made weapons go transparent. So I would take out my weapon and you could see through it. Let me just get rid of the crosshair. And you could see through it, which was really immersion breaking. Now there was a fix on Nexus and I did try it and it worked when you held the gun like this. The second you aimed, it went see through. You could see through your hands and you could see through the gun and it was very distracting. So it wasn't really an option. So I, I basically turned off ambient occlusion and dynamic shadows, which is why the, the game doesn't look that brilliant. I've picked a particularly barren spot but, you know, New Vegas is full of such spots. It doesn't look bad. Um, and the lighting does look nice. But we're not going to win any awards for visuals with those turn off. <laughs> but it's better than the transparency. The transparency just annoyed me. I think the ENBs in their current form seem to be designed to play better in third person. If you are a... If you, if you, you, know, if you don't want the transparency. Because I think... You could do this and you wouldn't get the horrible see-through bug. But I can't play like this, even even with the crosshair on. I don't think I could. Could I? No. I, I, I don't find that as immersive. I really don't. I much prefer playing first person. So, there you go. That is the ENB sorted. It does look very nice at night as well. Uh, let me load. I'll show you the New Vegas strip. The New Vegas Strip is the this horrible place where I get such ridiculously low frame rate. Let me just show you the frame rate. 40! 40 frames a second. And here's the idiotic thing. I can remove the ENB and it will not change. It doesn't go up or down in the slightest. No settings I change make it go up or down. It is... My graphics card is barely moving. It is, it's almost asleep. It gets a little better as soon as I move forward. But... When it, where is it? About here. There you go. <laughs> when looking at a blank wall. Now, I do like the way this looks, though. Uh, to give you an idea, let me just go back over there. I have to remember which is my sprint key. I will turn off the ENB, and you can see the vanilla game. That's the vanilla game. And now with the ENB again. That's a lot nicer. So I, I like the way it does the darkness. I'm not going to need a weather mod, I think. I think this is fine. It doesn't let me use night vision, I think. I'm fairly sure there are no night vision mods that work with this. I could tweak it, but honestly, I'm actually thinking of doing a low-tech playthrough. I'm thinking of doing a low-tech playthrough where instead of using the night vision, I'm going to use the torch the mod by Vivanto, so, and Pelinor, actually, who did the original. And other mods. I think I'm probably going to use a handheld Pip-Boy. Um, yes, I know, the original Pip-Boy was wrist-mounted, and it's very nostalgic. The Pip-Boy 2000 Plus and the Pip-Boy 3000 was, you know, basically modelled after that. But I like the Pip-Boy 2500. That is obviously based more on the standard Pip-Boy 2000, which was a handheld device. And whilst that was not the one used by the Vault Dweller or the Chosen One, 
Um, I think it's going to be the one used by the courier in this case. <laughs> um, the armor dusters I may use. Darns UI, definitely. Electro City, definitely. I like that mod. I just like the lights it adds. Um, Eve, yes. Fallout New Vegas redesigned. Unless there is another face mod that is going to get used. And by face mod, I do not mean a glam mod. I do not want to look like a supermodel. I do not want the wasteland to be filled with supermodels. It should be filled with people. Unfortunately, the vanilla game is filled with vaguely mutated creatures um, pretending to be people. So Fallout New Vegas Redesigned does fix a lot of those problems and make them look a little less weird. Um, so unless someone can tell me otherwise, that's staying. Lucky 38 Sweet Reloaded, I like that mod, so it'll probably stay. Missing Ammo Recipes, definitely going to be uh, one for this character. You see there's a bit of a hint as to what the character's going to be into. Um, I don't need a weather mod. Do not need a weather mod. New Vegas Bounties, I will be installing. Oh, by the way, this is not a list of the mods I currently have installed or was last playing. I've uninstalled a lot of mods, actually, and deleted them. I'm in the process of deleting New Vegas Bounties, I think I'm going to install. I am not going to start off with many quest mods. I know I'm going to get a lot of suggestions. Oh, you should try this. Oh, you should try that. I may try one or two. There's the Bison Hotel. I never got to try that. I'm thinking of trying that because that comes fairly early on. But I don't think I'll be trying that many modded quests for the first chapter. I want a bit more of a vanilla experience with regard content. NMC Texture Pack, yes, either that or Ojo Bueno or both. Um, Nuka Break, if you're wondering what that is, that's my own mod that adds a Nuka Break t-shirt and a Nuka Break hat. It's just very whimsical. I don't think I'll be using that. One Hood, obviously. Any UI mods I'll be using. Project Nevada, definitely. Um, I just I wouldn't play without it. Simple as that. Mod configuration menu, obviously. Vert's Wasteland. Pro yeah, probably. Probably. Um, and web mod. Yes, the weapon animation re replacer. Definitely. Plus WMX, I'm thinking. Obviously, this is not a full list of the mods. I was having a look at the, the top files. I noticed this weapon. I was actually originally thinking, I am not going to install weapon mods, that type of thing. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm not going to overload my mods. But I, I noticed this and thought, oh. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Oh. I'm not sure that's going to fit my character, but I do like the look of it. See, there you go, another hint, another hint as to the character. Top files. Um, really what I'm looking for from you guys is advice on stuff like this, the unofficial patch. There was another one, NVCE or something, and that type of thing. Which of those are the essential mods now? Um, or is this the one? It's very new, this one, so is that the one? Project Brazil, that's a whole new campaign, I believe, is it not? So I need to play that separately. Men of the Wasteland, I, I'm having a look at this. I'm not totally sure. Like, as I said, I, I'm, I'm worried about it making things look too nice. New Vegas Bounties, yeah. World of Pain. The only thing, I had a problem with this when it first came out, that it, it filled the world with loot. And, of course, Project Nevada did the opposite. So they, they kind of conflicted with each other, which was slightly annoying. I'm, I'm thinking about this because it just adds tons and tons of encounters, which are kind of cool. Eve, yes. You know, you got it with Eve, haven't you? I won't be adding things like this. Um, the follower mods. I'm, I'm going to use the vanilla followers to start with. Maybe in a later chapter. And... Yeah. So anyway, if you've got suggestions of mods that you think I would like, mods that you guys have got a good idea of what the type of mods I like, then, you know, put a comment down below. But like I said, I'm not going to be looking for major amounts of quest mods yet. Definitely not looking for beautification mods, companion mods. Although I am thinking of trying some companion mods later on, I think. But there are enough companions and their followers in the vanilla game that you could keep going for a long time anyway. I always wanted to try Willow, actually. She always looked a little too cutesy for my liking. But it's uh, it does look like a very good mod. So, everybody wants to know what the character's going to be. And I'm not telling you. Well, I will. I'll tell you a little bit. Um, 
people seem to want me to play evil, which is kind of worrying because does that mean I'm am I more naturally suited for evil characters? Is that what you guys are telling me? Am I not heroic? <laughs> <laughs> Am I a terrible hero? And I think back and I think Richard and Will. Yeah, Will was reasonably heroic, wasn't he? And Richard does try. Uh, but I'm not that good a bad guy either. Think of Steve. He's like incompetent. Um, I don't know whether it's going... I don't, I don't think my next character is going to fit into that categorization of hero or um, bad guy. I... I like more complicated characters. I've already got certain things sorted out about him. I have certain, I don't know what you call it, code of honor that he will carry with him. He is going to be very much a blank slate. I'm going to use the bullet to the brain excuse, as it were, to say he doesn't really remember a lot. I am going to have a few memories he's going to hold on to, but he's honestly not going to know that much. I think Fallout New Vegas works better with the amnesia concept. It's the first Fallout game that did that. I actually don't like it. It's one of the things that I did not like about Fallout New Vegas. It did not feel like a Fallout game at the start. In Fallout 1, you were a vault dweller. You, were, you had friends, you had family, you were in an isolated community, and you had to leave that community on a noble quest to do something, get a water chip, and you went off into this wasteland that you had completely no idea about. You were a total innocent a very Tolkien-esque story. I've said this before and I'll say it again. It really does remind me of Lord of the Rings or Hobbit. It's that kind of story. Fallout 2 is almost identical, except instead of a vault, it is a village. And instead of a vault door as your birthing canal, it is a bridge that you cross over. Um, so Fallout 3 went back to the roots. It went back to you being a vault dweller and once more shooting out of the vault door into the harsh, unforgiving, and unknown wasteland. Fallout New Vegas, surprisingly enough, did a Bethesda special. Now, people are going to say, but it wasn't Bethesda. I know. That's why I said surprisingly enough. Um, but they did. They did a... Think of it. Think of Bethesda. Morrowind. You're a prisoner. You wake up. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Oblivion. You're a prisoner. You wake up in a cell. Skyrim, you are a prisoner, you wake up on a cart. And in every single case, you had really no idea who you were, and you could make up whatever you wanted. You could make up any backstory you wanted, safe and secure in the knowledge that the Elder Scrolls game never reference your past life. They never do. If you, if you think about it, you, you, could, you could make any story up you liked for your past, and it would not conflict with any of the canon. Fallout is not the same. And in fact, Fallout New Vegas isn't the same because Fallout New Vegas keeps hinting at your past and, and plays into it. And so when you first buy the game, you can't even come up with a good backstory for fear of it being ruined by future DLC. Um, so obviously once you've known the DLC, you will then be able to construct a story like that. But honestly, I'm going to go for the whole almost Clint Eastwood style thing where you just you just you know the past is something nebulous something very unknown with some some things bleeding through occasionally that's what I'm going to go for I will tell you a few things he is almost certainly not going to join the legion I know a few people wanted me to do that and I have to tell you I can't it I've tried doing a legion playthrough and I failed because I hated it. I just don't like them. I do not like the Legion. I can't stand them. They annoy me. Um, they Everything about them offends me. And I, I cannot immerse myself in a character that likes them or even respects them. I just can't. It would my, my natural personality will keep coming through and I will keep wanting to wipe them out completely. Can't stand them, so I'm not even going to try. So, sorry if you were hoping for a sort of uh, Legate Lanius repeat. That is not likely to happen. It is going to be a low-tech playthrough. I am not going to be uh, using you know, Gatlin lasers and power armor. That was the will playthrough. Um, I, I want something a little bit more low-tech. Um, but I, just, I think that suits Fallout New Vegas more anyway. 
I will be doing most of the DLC, even the boring one, Honest Hearts. Honest Hearts, dear, oh dear. I'll do it. I probably will. God knows I'm going to make that entertaining. I will almost certainly not be doing Lonesome Road because it was the single worst DLC ever created for a game ever. Um, it is such an insult to intelligence that it makes me rant and rave every time I think about it. So that is unlikely to happen, <laughs> I'm afraid. And the question that everyone keeps asking is, when is it going to start? And honestly, I'm not sure. As I mentioned in my update, the next two and a half weeks are going to be pretty tough for me. I've got, um, I'm stopping my current employment and it's just a hectic time. After that, I'm going to have some free time, I hope. I'll be looking after my daughter 50% of the time. But I will be doing some some work on my videos and I'm hoping to get to a regular Let's Play schedule. I don't really want to start the New Vegas Let's Play and do two episodes and then have a week between episodes. So I don't think I'm going to start it this week or even next, to be honest. Because, you know, you've seen with the Conan playthrough, I played two episodes. I might not play the third one for another two or three days. I'm, I'm stunned I got that time, to be honest. I don't want to do that with the, with the New Vegas Let's Play. I, once I start it, I want to do at least three a week, get them out. So, And I want to be awake for it. I really want to enjoy it. So it might be two and a half weeks, three weeks before you see it appear. I'm not saying that's definite because it might come a little earlier. There is another game coming out in a week and a half's time. That is Amnesia Machine of Pigs, and I will be playing that. I, you do, I don't play that in one and a half hour stints. I play 20 minutes of it and then have to go and lie down because it's terrifying. So I will be finding some time to play that uh, because I can get 20 minutes, 25 minutes here and there. What I cannot do is I cannot get an hour and a half, two hours to play a New Vegas Let's Play, or at least not very easily. Um, and honestly, I don't think New Vegas is going to be fun if I'm do if I'm posting 20 minute episodes. So it's just that. It's not that I don't want to do it. I just want to do it justice. I want to do it properly. And the Richard playthrough will not be continuing until I get that time as well. And the New Vegas one will start first. So as as I said in the update, you're going to have to bear with me for a few weeks. Let's plays are a tough thing to deliver on right now. So I do apologize for that, but I am making changes um, so as to be able to make more regular videos, and we will see how that goes. Anyway, yes, so the, the New Vegas playthrough is proceeding. I am getting things in order. I am looking for suggestions on the mods to use, so leave some comments down below, and hopefully in the next few weeks, we will see the Mojave Desert. Okay. Catch you guys later. Yippee, yeah.